Today let's take up issue of debentures and let's do the topic uh, issue of debentures for consideration other than cash. <coughs> now as we did in uh, share capital, debentures can also be issued uh, for consideration other than cash. <coughs> Now, when uh, a company purchases some assets or maybe it purchases a business, right, and uh, instead of making the payment in cash, they issue debentures to the vendors, that is the suppliers of assets or uh, from whom they are purchasing the business, right. So, now let's look at the journal entries here. <coughs> now first of all let's take up the journal entry when assets are purchased and debentures are issued right so here we will have whatever asset is being purchased sundry assets account debit to vendor account now supposing uh, machinery is purchased in that case we will write machinery account debit to vendor account right so uh, here I can write being purchase uh, being sundry assets purchased right fine now this is the case when assets are purchased <coughs> We will come to the issuing of debentures journal entry later. First of all, the second one that is <clears throat> here I have taken up assets are purchased. Next one I will take up is when a business is purchased, right? When a business is purchased and and debentures are issued right okay now in this case when a company purchases another business what does it mean it means that they have purchased they have acquired the assets of that company and they have to pay off the liabilities of that company right okay uh, now you should know that the purchase consideration that is payable right the amount that is payable that is called the purchase consideration that is payable that is normally equal to the difference I mean there are three cases right so let's put it like this <coughs> purchase consideration right I have three cases one is uh, when the purchase consideration is equal to the difference between the value of assets acquired and the value of liabilities right mm -hmm. now this is the first case when the difference between the value of assets and the value of liabilities is equal right in that case I mean uh, the purchase consideration is equal to the difference between the value of assets and value of liabilities, right? So here, I'll put it like this. Purchase consideration is, the first case is equal. In that case, it will be sundry assets. Assets account will always be debited, right? And liabilities will always be credited. So here, this is sundry liabilities right okay now to vendor account fine now <clears throat> here we will have with the value of assets acquired this is with the value of liabilities and here with the 
purchase consideration okay this is the first case the second case may be uh, when the purchase consideration purchase consideration is to be paid by the company which is acquiring the business right so purchase consideration is more than the difference more than the difference between the value of the assets and the liabilities right now here uh, in this case whatever is the difference whatever is the difference that is debited to goodwill account that is debited to goodwill account so you have to remember that if the purchase consideration is more than the value of the net assets that is the value of the assets minus value of the liabilities whatever is the difference is goodwill and goodwill account is always debited right so here the journal entry will be like this see sundry assets account debited right okay now i said two sundry liabilities this is the normal thing that you do right vendor account will always be credited fine now here we have a difference we say it is more so this is goodwill account debit this will be the Entry. Okay, this is with the value of difference. Uh, with the that is uh, <clears throat> with the excess of purchase consideration over the value of net assets net assets is assets minus liabilities right and uh, this one to vendor account this is <coughs> with the value of the purchase consideration correct fine now the third case now the third case is when the purchase consideration is less than the difference between the value of assets and value of liabilities right in that case whatever is the difference right that is transferred to capital reserve account capital reserve account it is credited right credit fine Now here this one, this is, you will again have here sundry assets account debit, okay, two sundry liabilities, two vendor account. Now here we say that the purchase consideration is less than the difference between the value of assets and liabilities. So here you are going to have two capital reserve account fine right? now this means when when you transfer something to the capital reserve uh, it means that the transaction that is the acquiring of the business it has resulted in a profit or gain to the company right fine and um, this profit or gain to the company which is not in the normal course of business that is transferred to the capital reserve account fine right? So now we have seen the journal entries uh, when assets are purchased and debentures are issued and when a business is purchased and debentures are issued 
here we have seen three cases right now we come to the journal entries when the debentures are issued right when the debentures are issued now debentures can be issued at par fine the first case now when the debentures are issued at par it is vendors account debit to let's say if it's a 10% debenture or 12% debenture whatever may be the case it's to 10% debenture account right in case the debentures are issued at premium in that case it will be vendor account debit to 10% debenture account with actual value and uh, to securities premium reserve with the value of the premium right if the debentures are issued at a discount in that case the journal entry will be uh, vendor account debit discount on issue of debentures account debit to 10% debentures account okay so basically these uh, two entries one of these entries because either they are purchasing the assets or, or they are purchasing the business so either of these entries will come and when they are issuing the debentures debentures may be issued at par at premium or at a discount right so these are the journal entries for uh, issue of debentures for consideration other than cash now one formula i will put here which is for the calculation of uh, the number of debentures issued <coughs> calculation of number of debentures issued right here um, whatever is the purchase consideration right that divided by the issue price of the debentures this is the formula issue price of the debentures when we say now I'll, I'll quickly explain this if I have uh, uh, debentures of rupees 100 each right issued at par now in this case what is the issue price the issue price is rupees 100 right now the second case debentures of rupees 100 each issued at a premium of 10 percent 10 percent means 10 rupees here so here the issue price is 110 right and debentures of rupees 100 each issued at a discount of 10 percent here the discount is 10 percent means 100 minus 10 90 so the issue price is rupees 90 right now let's assume that the purchase consideration is uh, let's say supposing i say the purchase consideration uh, let me put it as something like 90,000 rupees right now in the case of at par right the number of debentures issued will be 90,000 divided by 100 right at premium it will be 90,000 divided by 110 right and at discount the number of debentures issued will be 90,000 divided by 90 right so this is how we calculate the um, number of debentures issued fine so we are, here we have looked at the journal entries and also how to calculate the number of debentures to be issued for consideration other than cash uh, i would like to end the session with this and in our next session we will take up a small example in uh, this uh, issue of debentures for consideration other than cash.